today I want to talk about one of the designs I recently did. This time it's for Teddy Peddler. Teddy Peddler is Chris Chapman. He's known for his bear stuff. He's got a brick and mortar store near Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So if you're in that area, definitely go check him out. We got to talking USDGC last year and he said he wanted me to do a bear head design for him. And I thought that sounded like fun. I, I love drawing heads anyway, so it seemed like a no-brainer. When I first started to do this, I wanted to do kind of like a realistic bear head that was almost coming out of the shadows, like the shadows dropped off into the disc flight plate. And then the only thing you can really see, the only bits that get stamped with foil are the highlights of the head, which I think is a really cool look. The problem is, and the reason I migrated away from this approach, it only really, really works well when the flight plate of the disc is black. And you just can't guarantee that they're going to give us that many black discs to stamp. So I love the idea. I will probably develop this into something later, but for this design, it just wasn't right. So I changed tactics, went away from like the shadow to highlights melting into the flight plate idea, and then ended up doing more of a caricature. I considered adding a whole bunch of detail and filling out all the available stamping diameter, but for two reasons, I decided against that. Number one, that's not really good design necessarily. I like the interplay of the negative space that's not stamped with the positive space that is stamped when you don't stamp all the way out to the perimeter. When you stamp all the way out to the perimeter, you can tell that you can only stamp out to the edge of the circle and no further. There's a very clearly defined circle, and I, I don't really like that. When you don't stamp out to the edge of the circle, then the negative space of the flight plate creeps into the design and kind of like does this give and take, and it feels more integrated with the disc. It, it, instead of feeling like a circular stamp that's stamped onto the disc, the design itself feels like it's part of the disc, and it's breathing, inhaling, and exhaling with the canvas that you have drawn on. So that was one reason I decided not to, to fill out all the detail. The second is Chris is known for doing really cool die work, and the more canvas I left open for him, the more he could flex his dies. And if you go look at his website, if you look at his Facebook channel, I don't know, he might be on Instagram. I don't do much on Instagram. If you look at that, you can see he's done lots of really cool dies with this canvas. So I guess that's a win. I was excited to see what he was turning out. All right, that's all I really have to say for today. I hope you guys love the design. I had fun doing it. Thank you, Chris, for the opportunity. And if you guys are near Myrtle Beach, go check out Teddy Peddler. Thanks. Bye.